Lisa? Lisa? Well, it's because you're popping pills. What's wrong? Try to stay calm, Lisa. I'm coming. See, I told you she was gonna die. Alright, so basically, we met with Lisa. The game let us progress forward, but for about, I don't know, five, ten minutes worth of stuff. And then decides, hey, you know what? Why don't you run all the way back and talk to Lisa again? So, we actually literally have to go through the entire area we just went through to meet up with Lisa again. That is stupid. It's really stupid. It's really incredibly stupid. Why didn't they just have this scene with Lisa while we were back at the apartment with her? Why make us go forward and then go back? It pisses me off. Anyway. So, we run all the way back. Running back. Yep. Alright, so when you don't stop to look at stuff, it doesn't take that long. It's still stupid, though. Alright, so, guess what? She's pretty much dead. Hmm. That's what I've been saying ever since we met her. Lisa? It's not really obvious what killed her. No! But I don't think that that no. Sybil no. will actually care. Because right. guess who it is? It's Sybil. Hey, I way. know Sybil. Why don't problem. you leap to some wrong conclusions? Oh, too late. Fucking please. I didn't shut up. I know you're not Harry Mason. What do you mean I'm not Harry Mason? Are you insinuating that Mary B. Harry Mason came to Silent Hill back in, like, the 80s? Anyway, so that's where I'm like, okay, it's totally gonna be that this isn't Harry Mason, because Harry Mason actually came in, like... Oh, I'm trying to get her gun right now, is basically what I'm trying to do. But it doesn't work. So I'm like, wait, are you trying to tell me that Harry Mason was actually here back in the 80s and that this isn't him? And, yeah, I'm saying that's gonna be stupid if they try and do that. And... And... Trying to find out where to go. And it doesn't tell me. There's absolutely no indication of where they want me to go. So I go, hell, I'll go back to the mall. Oh, look, you needed to step two feet further before we decided to let you know where we want you to go. I go, well, that's not far away. I'm sure it'll be easy to get there. Or not. Okay, so I guess we have to go this way. And we're running. And we're still running. I go, well, I could go through there, or I could go into this tool shop. I'll go into the tool shop. Go, where the hell does that door lead? Turn off my flashlight so no one will bother me while I'm doing this. Oh, look, it leads into the mall, too. Well, isn't that fine and dandy? Hey, I could hide under here. I go, wow, there's a monster. These guys are really starting to look pretty freaky. And he just yanks me out, because he has a, like, super sense that I'm under the bed. Which is, you know, bullshit. And that's where I complain that, you know, hiding basically doesn't work, because monsters will just go, Wow, I think he's right under there! And then I go, wow, it's like a fucking convention, because there are, like, a BILLION GUYS! I go, oh, I thought there was something I could do there. That's crazy. I say. And I go through this door, and I go, Haha! I've dropped something small on your path. You are rendered helpless. And then this guy tries to hug me, 
and I throw him off, and I run over here, and I jump, burst through the door, and I jump, turn on my flashlight, turn off my flashlight, I go, hey, look, there's a flare. I go, I know, I'm gonna go up the stairs, I'm not gonna go the obvious route. And I jump this, yay! And burst through there, and go, oh, got something I can drop, there we go. Come through here. And, yeah. And I go, hey, there's the bird. Hmm, that beak's interesting. Probably not important. Get out of my way. Get off me, get off me. And now I'm starting to limp. I don't know why, he's just hugging me. And then for some reason, although I was hitting the button to, uh... Ah, I just pulled out a flare there. Even though I was hitting the button to, uh, push the thing down, it didn't work. And I dropped the thing by the door, but then there were like 50 guys on the other side, so I was basically fucked. Made a leap. And then I realized, hey wait, I've already been here. Well, that didn't work. So let's try going through this door. And I throw him off, but I'm basically dead at this point. So, yeah, I'm just screwed. And my thing won't turn around. I tried to get that, but it didn't work, and I died. So, yeah. So, we've respawned here. Let's try this again. This time with feeling. Alright, Harry, I loved it. Now make me hate it. So I could go through the tool shop again, but that didn't actually work out so well last time. So let's try going this way. Jump! Get through there. Shimmy under there. And here we go. Monsters. And they're gonna grab me. Ha! Get off me! Yeah, I'm badass. And we're running down the hall. Get off me! And I go... I'm gonna go under the pipe, because I'm just that damn cool. Get off me! Yeah, kicked you in the face. Bitch. Yeah, I'm awesome. Alright. And I'm in a giant place with a giant wheel, and I go, wait, is this the stairs I came down? I go, yeah, it is, damn it. And then, go, get off me. And then, for some reason, my controls literally stop responding here. And I know, like, I complained about this before, how they stopped responding. But, I mean, honestly, that was because I was getting pissed off and doing frantic, frantic movements. They literally. I was doing the easy movements I usually do, it literally stopped responding. Which, you know, was annoying. Uh, but, you know, whatever. And I dropped this in their way. Because, you know, small jumps, can't handle it. Through there. Go, no, hiding is stupid, it doesn't work. Get off me. I wonder if you heal while you're hiding. Oh, there's that bird again. Go well, I could go the way I didn't go before. And guess what? It leads to another room that nothing happens in. But there's a door out, and that leads to it leads to another room. But you get the general idea. I've basically found the right path at this point. And yeah, I drop stuff in their way. Jump up here. By this point, I think I've basically lost them, so I uh, look around. Go, well, I need to go over here. 
I go, is this my door? No, it's all the way over there. Alright, so I took the wrong one, obviously. Oh, but there's a wall there. Well, let's jump on up there. And go around. Is this my door? Nope, but then I realized, oh, it's probably just in the middle. And I jump down here. Go through. And I go, well, I guess I, I, ah, you get the idea. I guess I'd better go in here. Oh, look, a puzzle room. Yay. And I get a message. Through the entire area we just went through to meet up with Lisa again. That is stupid. It's really stupid. It's really incredibly stupid. Why didn't they just have the scene with Lisa while we were back at the apartment with her? Why make us go forward and then go back? It pisses me off. I... Alright, so basically, we met with Lisa. The game let us progress forward, but for about, I don't know, five, ten minutes worth of stuff, and then decides, hey, you know what? Why don't you run all the way back and talk to Lisa again? So, we actually literally have to go through. Alright, so when you don't stop to look at stuff, it doesn't take that long. It's still stupid, though. Alright, so, guess what? She's pretty much dead. Hmm. That's what I've been saying ever since we met her. Lisa? Anyway. So, we run all the way back. Running back. Yep. Lisa? Well, it's because you're popping pills. What's wrong? Try to stay calm, Lisa. I'm coming. See, I told you she was going to die.